Hello. So National Geographic magazine asked me to do a story on rats. And I hate rats. <laughs> so I said no. And after about a month of going backwards and forwards with my editor and being told that I had to do the story on rats by the head of photography, uh, I found myself on a plane to New York. Um, but why me? Well, I specialize in remote imaging technology and remote lighting to get interesting and weird pictures of animals. So that's why they chose me. So now I'm going to show you three pictures of rats, and I'm going to dissect those pictures, not the rats. And uh, let's start under Broadway. This is a few weeks ago, under Broadway. And I want to get a shot that says to the reader, this is what's going on under your feet when you're walking down the sidewalk. Now, this picture was very difficult to get. It was in a drain right under the street. There's about 50 rats living down that drain. I've got to get a I'm not putting my hand down there, right? <laughs> I've got to get a camera down there. The bars are 40 millimeters apart. OK, that's the gap. So I've got to go and find a camera that's 40 mils wide or less that will shoot a raw file, that has a flash, that has a socket so I can plug a remote uh, uh, trigger into it. And also, I can plug an HDMI in so I can sit and watch it on a monitor. And I can work remotely like that. So I go to the camera store, and I find a camera that's 41 millimeters wide. It's the only camera you can buy that will do all of those things. And I think, all right, I'll blow 600 bucks on this. I just sell it on eBay afterwards. And then I won't get a bollocking from my boss because I've spent $600 on a camera for one shot. So I go back, I wire this thing up, and I try and push it down the drain, you know, the bars, and it doesn't fit. And I find one bit it fits down, and I force it down and completely destroy it. It's worth about $2 now, but we got the shot. I think it was worth it. <laughs> but as well as technical, I want to go for emotional. I want the reader to look at a rat in a different way. So I've gone for a bit of anthropology here. I want them to see the human side of rats. So I get low down, and I've got those, those hands coming over the top. They're almost human. And I've lit it in a really soft way. And this is all by putting cameras out by the drain, waiting for the rats to come out, and then clicking the button at the right, at the right moment. You get that really intimate, close, kind of looks like a human rat. But then I want the ultimate shot. You open the magazine. This is the defining shot of a rat in New York. I want the, the miserable, gritty subway. I want the yellow cab, and I want the skyscrapers. And it's all about lighting. This is at the bottom of uh, West Broadway. This is all about lighting this shot. I want the reader to know what it's like to be a pedestrian walking down the streets of New York. There's a rat scuttling across to that dumpster there. And the lighting for this shot is done with a flash gun. That red light there is a flash gun, and it's putting this pool of light down. And there's another little white flash gun putting a little bullseye ring of white in. And I know that the rat's going to run from there to there. And I'm just sitting there drinking a coffee, 20 feet away, pressing a button. Anyway, I kind of like rats now. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>